You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Glebia Palace today several members of the royal family, senior officials, businessmen and traders led by the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Khalid Al Mu'ayyad. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed the government's keenness to continue to support the commercial and industrial process of the country and its support to the private sector and businessmen as well. He commended the role of the BCCI in the commercial field, stressing the necessity for those efforts to push forward the fields of commerce and industry amid the current economic challenges. He asserted the importance to maintain BCCI's role as a partner of Bahrain's commercial march and a home for traders, highlighting the need to unify efforts which will directly be reflected on the commercial field and expressed optimism in the increasing of major projects in the economic, commercial and investment fields which contribute to the national economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role of the private sector and businessmen in supporting the developmental efforts, saying that the investment atmosphere of the kingdom is diverse and can cope to international changes through finding more opportunities. He pointed out it is important to continue to develop this atmosphere in order to attract more investments that would support the national economy and contribute in creating more job opportunities for the people. The Prime Minister stressed the government's keenness to provide facilities that would enhance the competitiveness of the investment environment of the kingdom and preserve its pioneering location in attracting investments and capitals in the region. He called on intensifying promotion for investment opportunities in all fields in order to support the government's approach in diversifying sources of income. He also highlighted the role of commercial families in supporting and advocating the economic movement in the kingdom, appreciating their contribution to the development and progress of the country. The Speaker of the Shura Council chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council approved a letter by the Speaker of the Representatives Council regarding civil and commercial procedures. The Council did not approve draft laws regarding the amendment of grades and salaries schedule, establishment of salaries and pension fund, and establishment of an account of the living standards level of citizens who work in the private sector. The Council then approved a report regarding regulating pension and retirement benefits for government employees. The Shura Council Speaker then congratulated the head of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee Dalal Zayed on being the first woman to earn the position of Vice President of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee and Human Rights in the Arab Parliament. He expressed pride in the role of Bahraini women, wishing her further success in her new position. The fourth Bahrain International Air Show kicks off this weekend, with exhibitors and visitors from around the globe gathering at Sakhir Air Base. More on this report with Paul Fraser. Preparations are well underway for Bahrain International Air Show, which takes off this Thursday, the 21st of January, for three days of thrills and action. This year sees the Russian Knights, the UAE's Al Fasan, the Saudi Hawks, the Indian Air Force's Sarang helicopter display team, and the Twisters taking to the skies of Bahrain. With magic shows, music, and static displays, it's going to be a great day out for all the family. Now, apart from the public display, this is a hugely important business event with 2.8 billion US dollars of orders and commitments made at the show in 2012. Bahrain's geographical location, coupled with the region's most liberal business environment, are just some of the factors which have resulted in this year's air show seeing its strongest international presence with a 30% increase in foreign business participation. Nine times British aerobatic champion and Bahrain International Air Show regular Mark Jeffries will be opening this year's show, flying his extra 330 SC. Mark has taken some time out to join us, just quickly, because I know you're a busy man. But this is the fourth time you've been at Bahrain International Air Show. 
Yes, it is, and uh, it's a great privilege to be invited back and the warm welcome from everybody, lots of familiar faces and, uh, of course, the warm weather. And, of course, people, you're unmistakable from the fact that you actually open the air show each year, or you have for the past few years. Yes. Now, this is a different aircraft you brought with you this year. Yes, this is a single-seater. It's got more performance than the aircraft I bought uh, two years ago now and it's very agile, it's, uh, it is the most agile aerobatic aircraft in the world. The, uh, the day, day before the show kicks off on the uh, 20th, just at dusk I'm going to go up to 10,000 feet and I've got the ability to carry fireworks on this aircraft and I'm going to light some fireworks on the aircraft very high and come spiralling down so if you're in the city look to the south uh, it's around about uh, half past five on uh, Wednesday you'll see something that uh, has not been seen before. From Sakhir Air Base, this is Paul Fraser for Bahrain Television. And now we leave you with Hamad for the latest business news. Thank you, Mohammed. Good evening, you're watching the Business and News on Bahrain Television. Head of Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah, announced that real estate trading overpassed 1 billion Bahraini dinars in the past year for the second year in a row, reaching 1.2 billion. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah said the results represent stability thanks to the encouraging governmental policies to the field, stressing that real estate traders and investors have confidence in the Bahraini market. The Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,195.86 points, a decrease of 5.05 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investment, services and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 55.44% of total shares. 56 transactions included a volume of 1,294,391 shares worth 191,963 Bahrain dinars. One Sukuk transaction with a volume of 500 worth 475 Bahrain dinars represented 0.25% of total securities traded.